the United Kingdom engages in the disgusting business of supporting the most brutal autocratic regimes in the world. I refer to uh, the regime in Saudi Arabia, which is in occupation of Bahrain, and we support the occupation of Bahrain by Saudi Arabia, and we are supporting what is effectively a form of genocide by means of cluster bombs and the like in Yemen. Uh, it's now 10 to 12,000 people have killed, 30, 40,000 wounded, and in particular, uh, the situation is such that the Yemeni people are being uh, blockaded and are starving, and they are being bombed back to the Stone Age by Saudi Arabia, which cannot win this war, uh, particularly because they are cowards who will not actually, they themselves, go in on the ground and fight in uh, Yemen. This cowardly business uh, and using illegal weapons, the cluster bombs, which we have supplied over the years and we still supply, we supply them no matter what the government says, we're still supplying them. This cowardly business uh, continues at this moment because the UK is in cahoots with regimes that suppress any form of democracy in the Middle East. And the secret behind this is we're in cahoots uh, with regimes which effectively in practice support the expansion of Israel. You see, the great axis of evil is Israel, Saudi Arabia and the USA, and we are in cahoots with this. Now this axis is totally out of date. Its policy is a bankrupt. Look at what's happened in Syria, where the UK and the USA and Israel were supporting Daesh and ISIL and still are at this moment. Uh, look at the policy which has led to the destruction of Libya, uh, Syria, uh, Iraq, and uh, the intent was and still is to smash apart seven countries in the Middle East. We have supported it, and we do it in a, a very, very insidious and nasty way, particularly by supporting things which are illegal, which are these cluster bombs. And of course, they maim people on a huge scale if they don't kill them. But they slice, slice you in two, but they may only slice your legs off. It depends upon how you are hit by these horrendous uh, uh, we weapons. So the UK is following an out-of-date policy. The world is now moving. American power, they can still blow up the world, the Americans can, but the fact of the matter is politically, economically, and certainly morally, the American power is diminishing. The America is now the laughing stock of the world as it puts up all these ridiculous lies trying to justify why Hillary Clinton, a warmonger, got defeated in the uh, general election. Putting it all together, we are in cahoots with the monstrous regime in Bahrain, the monstrous regime in Saudi Arabia, with the creeping genocide and the expansion of Israel, and with the USA, which is a warmongering power. Do you know that for every day for the last eight years, America has been at war, and that for every year since 1945, the USA has been at war, and we support them? So this is shameful uh, news that we are still, or have been selling cluster bombs. It's not new news, but it's shameful news, and it's time we woke up and saw that our business, uh, our policy is outdated, disgraceful, and we ought to be ashamed of it.